Um, I had a fun day yesterday when I wasn't watching the Celtics just get the shit kicked out of them in the second half, you know. But I know we're going to win game six. I don't even know that. I I hope we're going to win game six. You know, when will people learn not to talk shit? Because it just motivates the other fucking team. And then fans don't get that either. I didn't see it. You know, I was busy this weekend. I had family in town visiting my daughter. And um, I guess someone on the Celtics, I don't know if it was Green, said, yeah, we're definitely going to beat him in the next game. It's like, why would you do that? That thing that fucking Wall did on uh, Instagram alone to that guy in the Atlanta Hawks. You know this guy fucking thrives off a grudge. Why the fuck would you do that? So that the Wizard fans... Come on in. He's on down. He's on down. They they just saw the results of shit talk. Right? And I'm watching the Celtics walk off the court after a loss, and you see two fucking goddamn, you know, cotton candy eating fatties. Not even fat, but just dad bods. Just clapping, going, hey, great job. Great job. Like yelling at the Celtics as they're going off the court. It's like, you fucking moron. Why would you do that? You don't say anything. You cheer politely, you let them walk by, and then that's it. And you let doubt slip into their fucking head. You don't fucking yell at a professional athlete. You think they're going to implode? This isn't a field goal kicker. Somebody's got the balls to go down the fucking lane, right? All that's going to do is motivate them. You guys guys never learn that shit? Fucking morons. And I'm talking to Celtics fans, too, because they also do it. You know, I hate those people like right after they win a game, they just got to fucking talk all this shit. You know, Celtics getting that ass slapped, all that shit. It's like, dude, it's 2-2. And then they're going to disappear into the abyss if we win another two. That fucking happens every time. So we'll see. Um, I, I want to say that the Celtics will win the next game. And then I think we lose in Washington and then it just becomes like, what team is going to win on the road? Or is the home team going to hold serve? What am I fucking doing the NBA thing here? I got to be honest with you. As much as I, I've really come back to the NBA and I enjoyed it, I when I'm watching an NBA game, when there's an NHL game and I flip over to it, it's not even close, the level of fucking excitement. It's people jogging up the court versus people like skating around doing like 20, 30 miles an hour slamming into each other basketball people they're all about oh, but there's no scoring <laughs> which i understand it's one of my big complaints about when you watch soccer other than the fucking flopping which by the way jesus christ did you guys see what's his face doing his salmon up the river is that guy's name beal or whatever on on dc and you just see all the fucking memes about that guy that was one of the worst if he just dove that would have been fine but the way he threw his head back Good Lord. Fucking Quiet Riot ought to have him as a front man. He'd fucking sell every goddamn song without a, without a doubt. But um, I got to admit, I, you know, hockey's just where it's at. And I, got, and I also have to apologize to the Ottawa Senators. I was watching that fucking game the other day, and uh, who was it? The uh, Rangers. was. Uh, what was the score? Were they up 4-3? to three? Is that what it was? Scored the fourth goal with like seven minutes to go, and I'm rooting for the Rangers. Why? I hate New York sports fans. You know, can't stand them. But Ottawa beat my Bruins, so I'm like, fuck it. And I always got like a soft spot spot for the Rangers because I rooted for them in 94 to win the cup. And that's one of the great you know runs I ever saw in sports. So I'm rooting for them, right? Plus, I got a couple of friends that are big Ranger fans. So it's four to three. Gets down to like a minute and change left. And I'm thinking, you know, and I got family coming over, right? I got to go downstairs. I got to fire up the flat top. I'm going to make some burgers with a little bit of hash browns. I don't do French fries. I go hash browns. I go hash browns on a flat top grill. I don't like French fries. French fries past a certain fucking age. You just, you can't do it. They just take you down to the mat. It's not the burgers. It's the fries. It's not the pizza. It's the soda. Or maybe it's the combination of the two. That's probably what it really is. When you have both of them, it's just like... It's fucking over, right? So, minute and change. I, I feel like I'm fine. I go downstairs, you know, be brothers over here, a couple of bud hods, right? I come back in the fucking house, and he's like, he's like Ottawa won. 
I go, what do you mean they fucking won? What, how did they win? Tied it up with like no time left. And they, then they gave me the old right there, Fred, in overtime. Anyways, um, my apologies to the Ottawa Senators. I just did not believe in them. Evidently, they're for real. And I think they're going to take this series. See what I just did there? It made it sound like I was saying something positive about Ottawa. But any real sports fan knows what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to put a hex on them. <laughs> the old Ronnie Hex doll. Nah, I'm fucking with you. Um, I keep forgetting the Rangers are like a wild card. I don't know. The fucking Anderson, dude. That guy, he's, he's the guy. Everybody keeps talking about the dude with the busted foot skating around there. Carlson, whatever the hell his name is. I can't, I, you know, once once the Russians came in and all the Eastern, the Finnish people, I, I haven't been able to remember anybody's fucking name. Really, Bill, you're going to blame that or you, your lack of short-term memory? All right, maybe you got me. Maybe that's what it is. All right, let me type in my password here. Let's see. Let's see.